In this video, I will show you how a unit step signal or a discrete unit step signal will be periodic. So, generally unit step signal, so in discrete form or continuous form will starts at 0 and it ends at infinity. If you want to make unit step as periodic signal, you need to extend from 0 to minus infinity also. That means, so for example, if you are having discrete samples from 0 to infinity, so you need to add 0 to minus infinity also or 1 to minus 1 to minus infinity also then you can uh, uh, you can um, convert that uh, unit step function into periodic unit step function. For example, if you are having x of n like this, so if you want to make like that, so generally people will think like this, if you done u of n plus u of minus n you are going to get periodic signal, but this is not at all right. So, you are not going to uh, get periodic signal, whatever you are going to get that is a periodic signal here. For example, you can see here, so I want to draw u of n, that means u of n starts from 0 and it is having continuous samples at 1, 2 and 3, 4, 5 like that. So, continuously you are having samples for u of n. For example, if you consider u of minus n, you are having sample at 0 and minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. So, like this. So, from 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like that. So, for example, if you consider minus 1 here, if you are subtracting, if you are subtracting then what will happen? So, if you subtract u of n minus u of minus n, so, here whatever the samples we are having, those are going to subtract. So, that means, so minus 3 to 0 are going to subtract. In the subtraction process, you are going to get the 1 minus 1. Or for example, if you are adding, if you are adding like this, if you want to make your unit step function as periodic, for that purpose you, you added like this, then what will happen? from minus infinity to 0 you are going to get minus at minus 3 you are going to get 1 minus 2 you are going to get 1 minus 1 you are going to get 1 but at 0 you are you can notice two samples in this u of minus n also you are having sample at 0 but in case of u of n also you are have, uh, having sample at 0 those two samples are added and you are going to get this sample amplitude as 2 and here remaining samples in uh, u of n samples will come as it is like this. But here if you uh, see whether the signal is periodic or not, yes it is periodic but periodicity, actual periodicity missed at t n is equivalent to 0. Why? Because to, uh, to consider this signal as periodic signal, your sample value at n is equal to 0 must be is equivalent to 1. Why? Because all the samples are having same amplitude 1, 1, 1, 1. If you want to make this as periodic signal, you need to repeat your sample with amplitude 1 for every 1 interval of n. But here, so this sample is repeated here, this sample is repeated here, but this sample is not going to repeat here. The amplitude is uh, became uh, some scaled, scaled amplitude you are going to get. So, then there we miss the periodicity, then this is not the periodic signal. This combination of unit, discrete unit step signal is not said to be periodic. So, this is a periodic signal. So, the resultant of this unit steps is a periodic signal. Now, if you want to make this as periodic, how we need to consider either in this or in this, you need to uh, eliminate the sample at 0 and you need to consider from minus 1. So, here that means if you want to consider any shifted unit step, so generally you are going to consider shifted unit step in negative direction. That means, so if you consider x of n is equal to u of n plus u of minus n minus 1. So, here you are going to consider like this. So, u of n starts from 0, so 0 to infinity, but u of minus n minus 1 starts at minus 1. So, this not having sample at 0, you are having samples 
here. So you are just having samples here like this. So when you are adding these two, then you are going to get signals like this. So all the samples are having same amplitude at 0, 1, 2, 3 or minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. That you can say. So at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 means for example if n capital N is equivalent to 1 at n is equivalent to 2n, at n equivalent to 3n, n is equivalent to 4n. So your samples are repeating that means same sample is repeating for every n is equivalent to 1. So you can say now your resultant of your unit steps is a periodic signal. So always in the combinations of periodic signals, the combination of u of n plus u of minus n minus 1 is periodic. But do not say u of n plus u of minus n is periodic. But in continuous time signals, definitely you can consider u of t plus u of minus t. So sometimes uh, practically that is possible to be periodic. But uh, theoretically there also you will get uh, some problem about periodicity. But coming to discrete itself, this is not periodic. This is only periodic. So why? Because so for this signal you are uh, getting um, problem of periodicity at n is equivalent to 0. Like this way we need to answer about periodicity of discrete unit step.